All right, so I'm going to do a quick lesson, just review of this for those who are, are having trouble with their homework. Okay, so let's start with our 45-45-90 our triangle. So remember, the sides are A, A, A root 2. So the two legs are A and the side across from your right triangle is A root 2. So number one is the easy type because they're giving you your A. So always label A, A, hypotenuse is A root 2. So they're giving you that A is 8, so that means X is 8, and Y is 8 root 2. Done. So when they give you the, the leg on a 45-45, it's easy. Let's do another one real quick. So let's say I had um, 5 root 7, right? If that's 5 root 7, this is 5 root, A is 5 root 7. So the, the hypotenuse is 5 root 7 times root 2, because you always multiply whatever this is by root 2. So you'd have 5 root 14. So when you have the two legs, those are the easy ones. In number 2, they're giving you the hypotenuse. So I have my A, I have my A, I have my A root 2. So that means my A root 2 equals 5 root 2. So what does A have to equal? Well, you just divide, right? Those are multiplying, opposite of multiplying is dividing. So my A is 5, so both X and Y are 5. Now the more, most difficult type is when they give you the hypotenuse, and it doesn't have a root 2. So again, A, A, A root 2. So this time, my A root 2 equals 19. We have to solve for A because we want to find the value of X and Y. Divide by root 2. And then remember, this is the obnoxious thing where we're not supposed to have a square root at the bottom. So we rationalize by multiplying by the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom. 19 times the square root of 2 is just 19 root 2. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is really the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 2 is 2. And we're just going to leave it like that. If you want to divide 19 by 2, you could have 9.5 root 2, but I'm going to leave it. So either one of those is good. I'm going to put... So that's my A value, so that's X and Y. So that's a quick review. If you're still having trouble, go back to, what was that, Lesson 94, rewatch the video. So now let's do a quick review of the 30, 60, 90. All right, so 30, 60, 90, we label our triangle by doing across from 30 is your A, across from the right, angle is 2a across from 60 is a right, right a root 30 sorry so literally this is like before you do anything label your triangles like i can do that really quick all right a 2a a root 3 number six across from 30 is my a across from my right triangle is two, right angle is 2a across from 60 a root 3 14 across uh, from 30 is A, across from the right angle is 2A, across from 60, A root 3. Across from 30 is A, across from the right angle is 2A, across from 60 is A root 3. So just like automatically label. So in number 4, they're giving me what A equals. So now I'm just going to set, so A equals 5. So all I have to do is plug in. So y is 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Plug in here, a is 5. 5 times root 3, which you can't do anything to. 5 root 3. Done. Number 6. What are they giving me? They gave me 32. Well, this time, 32 equals 2a. So to solve for a, we divide. These are multiplying. Opposite of multiplying is dividing. A equals 16. So that means X is 16. And Y, just substitute for A, 16 root 3. Number 14. 
change colors. They get four of the same color all the time. This time they gave me 15 root 3. So A root 3, what I labeled it, equals 15 root 3. So this one is a little weird, but we can do it. To solve for A, A root 3 means A times root 3. The opposite of time is divide. So A equals 15. So that means that X is 15. And Y is 2 times 15. 2A, 2 times 15, which is 30. So, so far, they really aren't that bad. Number 16 is the most difficult. So again, I have to set that equal. 6 equals A root 3. This one's hard because of that radical, right? I'm dividing by the square root of 3, just like in number 14. But now, just like in the previous slide with the square root on the bottom, that's not allowed. So you multiply the top and bottom by that same square root. I had a square root of 3 on the bottom, so I multiply by square root of 3, square root of 3. That's 6 root 3. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. But what times itself is 9? 3. Now this one you can actually simplify. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So my A is 2 root 3. That's our Y. Which means X is 2 times 2 root 3. Which is 4 root 3. Alright, so I'm done. So that's a quick rundown. So you have to identify which triangle you have. And then go through this process. Again, if you're still having trouble... Go back, rewatch the videos I made, number 94, 95. They are on my YouTube channel, or you can go into Classroom. You could also um, go onto YouTube or Khan Academy and just put in special right triangles and videos maybe explaining this in a different way will also come up. All right, have a great day, guys. I will see you on Tuesday.